Hey everyone, welcome to another video and thank you for tuning in. So, as always, there's a lot of news and so let's just get started. Starting off with some personal news, um, I was hoping to have the pedestrian warning system for you guys uh, this week. Unfortunately, Tesla has rescheduled my appointment yet again. Yep, they pushed it out another week and a day. So now it's scheduled for next Tuesday, I believe. And um, the reason for it is they said that there's the parts didn't come in yet. So I'll keep you updated on that, but that's the second time that they've canceled and the third time that they've changed it. So at any rate, that's what's happening there. So now let's talk about Tesla in general. First is, it's official, Tesla will no longer be using radar. And there's no sign of it on their um, website. So you can see here, they do mention that it's uh, visual processing power up to 250 meters and 12 uh, ultrasonic sensors, but no mention of radar anywhere. So they're moving forward with that. So it's, it's kind of neat to see this whole transition happen. They've been talking about it, but there was always radar on their website, but now all gone. So. Let's talk about the Model S Plaid. If you are lucky enough to be in the market for a Model S Plaid, well, the delivery time says June. So, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see these cars on the road. So yeah, if you look at the website, it doesn't even give a like a, a date range from June to something. It just says June which is pretty crazy. I can't wait to see that thing out on the road. Man, whoo, that's gonna be some crazy performance there. I know it's not gonna be like the Roadster. You know, that's a topic, uh, that's a whole different topic, but Plaid's coming out. Now, if you were lucky enough to be in the market for a Plaid Plus, and you've waited, just kind of trying to see if uh, what was going on with the Model S. Well, unfortunately for you, there is a temporary hold on the Plaid Plus. Yep, you can see here, it's grayed out. You can no longer order it in the US. And I'm guessing it's only temporary, but still, if uh, you know, for whatever reason, you were just kind of waiting, well, you're gonna have to wait a little longer because they won't even let you order right now. Now that being said, for some reason, if you live in Canada, you can still order it. So if you uh, if you are on the Canadian site, yeah, you can still order it. So I'm not sure why you can't get it in the US, but you can get it in Canada. But there you have it, Tesla for you, always keeping us guessing and wondering what's going on. So, and then uh, staying on the Model S, the Plaid delivery event is going on June 3rd. I'm so excited, I can't wait. You know, I don't know if they're gonna have a whole bunch of them delivered on that day or what the deal is. I don't think anybody knows, but it's gonna be the day where people can take delivery and start showing off that car. I can't wait to see it at the track. I can't wait to see what it does um, in the quarter miles. I mean, just the real look of it. We'll finally get to see it out in the wild. You know, that if you are one of the few that are one of the people that are lucky enough to have purchased one of those congratulations and like i said i am so excited i can't believe the numbers on it and i i just can't wait to see it as you can tell i the numbers alone just i'm all kinds of crazy about that car so well hopefully that day goes well and like i said the event goes well they introduce some new products as well as put out more information on the future of the s and the plaid plus and the x and all that and we get some timelines well you know what i mean by timelines so at any rate uh can't wait for that day june 3rd that's the big day for the tesla model s plaid moving on to some bad news about tesla as of last Friday, I believe, um, the prices have gone up yet again for the Model 3 and the Model Y. Now the performance additions of both of those vehicles do not seem to be affected, 
but they went up another $500 for the um, standard range plus model three and the long range. And then I believe the long range for the model Y also went up again, $500. And I think the net um, price that it went up since the beginning of the year for those models is $2,000. So not really all that good. Um, I don't know why prices keep jumping up by $500 every time, but they have gone up again. So the last thing for today that involves Tesla is actually SpaceX. Um, who wants to be an astronaut? If you ever thought about being an astronaut, but you're just an everyday person, Discovery Channel might actually have the answer for you. This might be a once in a lifetime opportunity for you or anybody, I should say. So the idea is, is Discovery has gotten with a company called Axiom Space, NASA, and SpaceX. And they are going to do a reality show about becoming an astronaut. And again, this is for the everyday person. You don't have to be a scientist. You don't have to be some kind of engineer. This is for the average person to go and try to be an astronaut. So all you gotta do is go to discovery.com and fill out the application. And I think there's also a requirement to send a 30 or 60 second video on why you wanna be an astronaut. And at that point, if you get selected, um, you're gonna be a part of a, uh, a basically um, a reality show that shows what it takes to become an astronaut and that is supposed to take place, I believe, sometime in January of 2022. So that's moving up really quick. But then you get to fly into space on a Falcon uh, Falcon 9 and um, be in the Crew Dragon capsule. And then you get to go to the International Space Station for a short visit. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to be, but yeah, you actually make it to the space station and hang out for a while. So that is just crazy to me. And again, I think who's flipping the bill is Axiom Space and Discovery. So that's, that's crazy. You can try to become an astronaut, even though you're an average citizen, you know, so... That's amazing. So if you wanted to be an astronaut or ever thought of dreamed of being an astronaut, here's your chance. Again, uh, discovery.com and just fill out the application. This is insane times that we live in. So, well, that's all I have for today. Again, uh, I'll keep you up to date on the pedestrian warning system. And I also have another video coming up for you this week. I think you'll find pretty interesting. So stay tuned for that as always. Go to your car meets, have fun with your mods, and enjoy what you have. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you on the next video.